Good afternoon and welcome to the studio here at Distributech 2019. With me this afternoon, I have Howard Scott, the CEO of Cognist Advisors. Howard, thank you so much for making the time to speak with us this afternoon. My pleasure. The metering industry has undergone a number of changes in its lifetime. You mentioned that you thought there were four stages or evolutions. Could you talk a bit about that? Yes. Uh, from my perspective, the industry started uh, in the uh, mid to late 1800s and uh, the early round of metering was really, uh, they were handheld, hand read meters. Meters that were uh, read by, by hand where individuals would actually go to the meter, write down what they saw and put it on paper and bring it back to an office. Uh, that was, that lasted about a hundred years. Uh, after that, we entered a generation where some automation began to appear and we called it automatic meter reading, AMR. And the AMR industry started in the mid 1980s and ran for about 20 years after that. Uh, that was followed by the first stage of more advanced automation, which I, I view as a third stage, which is uh, called AMI, Advanced Metering Infrastructure. And we're really at the very end of that generation. It's about 10 years that that's been running. And we're now seeing the very beginning of a new generation of metering, where uh, what I call the fourth stage, where it's essentially a, a second version of AMI, but far more robust, where it's gathering much more data, much more robust communications. The utility, the utilities meters are actually able, in many instances, to talk to each other. And so we've got uh, a, a much more sophisticated version of metering today than we ever originally thought that we would have. Now, a lot of the uh, utilities that were part of the initial rollout of AMR or even early generation AMI meters are, have come to the end of the, the useful life cycle of those meters. What kind of deployments are we going to see over the next, uh, I guess, two years? We will the earliest of the AMR meters in many instances have reached a point where some of them are just quite old and, and need to be replaced. Mm. Uh, if uh, For electric utilities, these meters very often still work, but the utility just doesn't want to read them anymore because they may have been read uh, by a drive-by truck or something like that, and they're not able to give uh, some uh, real-time kind of uh, gathering of data. Uh, so then they move to the AMI, and that also, we're coming to a bit to the end of that. And I would expect that we're going to start seeing more aggressive rollouts from many utilities uh, coming up with this new version of meter. And many of the vendors are just beginning to release data showing what those numbers are. They certainly won't dominate the numbers for the next couple of years, but then they will, then they will about three, four years from now. Now you've long been a proponent of using the data that utilities are gathering yes. through this whole metering process. Yes. Do you believe that we are utilizing that data to the best of our ability? Well, when we started, and, and you and I have attended conferences together for many years, <laughs> uh, I would say uh, 20 years ago, you probably saw me giving talks where the very last slide, I would say the following words, and someday the utilities will actually start using all this data. Mm. And, uh, and I used that slide for many, many years. Uh, but it's interesting, about 10 years ago, I started seeing that the utilities showed much more interest in it. And they actually today are reaching the point where the utilities are coming to the vendors and saying, we want to do more things with this data. We want to not only read meters, but we want to read all sorts of other devices that utility have, and we want to integrate this data together. And so we're now moving to a brand new generation where the data itself is, is critically important. It's a key driving factor for the utilities, and it's enabling the utilities to A, understand better how they're operating, and B, provide much better service to their customers. Now you had a, 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 an example that you showed me earlier 
about where where data is being utilized on a daily basis yes. in our lives. And I, I always like using this example. I'll, I'll pull out my cell phone and uh, point out that, uh, for example, w we might go out to dinner and uh, two couples might go out and they might have a conversation. And in the course of the conversation, someone's talking about a movie and w one of the participants says, what was the name of that actress? And they'll, they'll go pull out the phone and they'll go look it up. And sure enough, in real time, they're using data to go yeah. find something that's socially important to them, and then the phone goes away. And it's not surprising in the course of a dinner that the phone might come out several times. We're now living in an age where that is an integral part of our life. And that's an example, uh, a very f more social and fun example about how we're all using data. And I expect that my children and my grandchildren uh, will be doing this as well to a far greater extent. And they'll be much more comfortable with it than uh, so many other people my age are right now, but uh, it's definitely a key part of all our lives today. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess um, there are many companies and uh, experts that say we are living in the age of data. Um, it is one of the most, if not the most important commodity in the world. Yeah. Um, just ask any parent who has a yes. curious five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, I find that uh, uh, I have uh, several grandchildren and uh, we are always making sure that they have a phone with them when we go out to dinner because their data, which is a bit different than the data that I'm interested in, uh, is a key part of their lives. And I know that uh, that's a great indication that as we look to the future, it's going to be, become a greater and greater part of society as we move forward. Howard, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Unfortunately, this is all the time that we have available. My pleasure. Enjoyed it. <laughs> From Distributech 2019, thank you so much for watching.